Hello friends, my name is Alex. On this channel I talk about photography and retouching. Today I talk about LAB cover space. This cover space has a number of advantages that make it easy and quick to improve a photo. What is the difference between LAB and RGB cover space? When we increase the saturation in the RGB cover space, the cover change not only the values of the red, green and blue channels, but also the brightness. When we work with color in LAB cover space, we have the opportunity to change colors, but the brightness remains unchanged. This is the main advantage. We get a great picture without changing the brightness of the color. I have a photo and I want to add local saturation. In the LAB space this can be done much more accurately. Create a copy of the layer, turn the copy of the layer into a smart object. This is a very important step. Then double click on this layer. We have an additional tab. In this additional tab we change the color space to LAB. After that we create a hue saturation adjustment layer, select an eyedropper or a color from the list and increase its saturation. The color change very smoothly. The effect of saturation occurs, for example, only on the green color. We can work with different colors without fear that another color will change. The LAB color space allows you to isolate saturation for a specific color. Of course, we can also change the color tone. If we need, we create additional adjustment layers and use local mask. If we do the same in RGB space, we get an aggressive color and brightness boost. Lab work with color in other principles, allowing to obtain harmonious color. When we finish setting the color, close the tab, we press the button Yes. All changes are applied to the copy layer before and after. Another cool trick for working in LAB space is to gently increase the micro contrast and depth for the portrait. We create a copy of the layer, turn the layer into a smart object, double click, LAB space. We create a curves adjustment layer. To add extra depth we make a curve like this. We capture only a small part of the curve. We will see the change and increase in depth in the portrait shot. A stunning and simple technique for portrait photography. The third useful trick – use color correction in a few clicks. Create a levels adjustment layer, switch to channels A and B. A is the range of green and red, B – blue and yellow. Different combination of this color allows us to create many options for color correction. I suggest you experiment and find a great option for yourself. After the correction, do not forget to close this tab and apply the changes. After that we can turn the smart layer in a normal layer. Thank you for watching this video, subscribe to the channel, click the like button, have a nice day and see you in the next videos.